Hey guys, this is Avenator here, and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different than I normally do on my YouTube channel. We're going to be messing around with this new operating system called ReactOS that I found on the web. And basically what this operating system is, is it's basically, it's very similar to Windows in the way that it runs things, but it's actually built from scratch and it runs Windows software natively and the developers are still developing it in the alpha stage so it's very buggy and still in the early stage since it's been since it started in 2004 but it is starting to get up to a good turning point where it could actually be used very <sighs> highly I don't even know what I'm saying but basically that's what it is it's an operating system that uses um, that can run Windows software natively so they're trying to get to the point where let me go ahead and start it to the point where they can run like Windows 10 apps and things like that but that's a uh, way long ways off for this operating system right now so as I go ahead and start it I've already um, I've you probably you guys um, depending on how I upload the these types of videos um, I've already done a setup on how to set this up on my YouTube channel so that's probably already up on my channel so if you want to you can go watch that and see how I set, set this operating system up so that's that and as this starts let's go ahead and get rid of these messages and go ahead and get capture mode and we'll wait until it loads so um you can it's actually a really good operating system honestly um i've used it a few times but not a whole lot because it's very buggy and very picky and you can also only use one processor and you're limited to one gigahertz on that processor so that kind of sucks so it's very slow even though if you have like a high power processor and stuff it's very slow so that's the only problem but it can get on the internet and run Mozilla Firefox and things like that see as you can see it's pretty slow that's because it's limited to one processor so yeah basically that's that it wants to install drivers but it can't for some odd reason because it I don't know, I don't think it's connected to the server or whatever. So that's that. So basically, it's basically like an early version of Windows, like Windows 98 or Windows 2000 or something like that, 95. Like it has a control panel and everything that you would normally see on an early version of Windows compared to 95 or 98, Windows 95 or 98. So it's very slow. <laughs> So, see, here's the control panel. The windows are very similar. Come on. Stop. Come on. Okay, so, that's that. And then you have the display and all these few icons and things. Okay. And then, you have this um, start menu similar to windows. And this start menu here, they still haven't got that working. So, that'll be nice once that happens. To come up so and then you have this applications manager where you can get um, applications for the react OS so you can get on the internet install dri certain drivers there's not a very there's very few drivers so <laughs> it's not very good right now because there's very limited support but there is a few things like VLC player that works, Mozilla Firefox, Opera, 7-Zip, um, I think MS Paint, and then a few other things works. And the internet works, but you're limited to 10 megabit also, as you can see here, which is very slow. Because I have, I don't have very good internet, but it is a lot better than 10 megabit. It's about half of 100 megabit, about 50 megabit, so, yeah, so that's that, there's not a whole lot that you can do, but if you have a decent processor, you can do basic tasks and things, as you can see, there's 
different things for like audio. You have Audacity, which I'm using for my audio, um, video, VLC, um, graphics things, games that you can play. Um, probably very slow because of the processor limitations. Um, so basically that's that. That's pretty much it. You, I'm doing a VM, um, a virtual machine, because when I tried to install it natively on my computer, I couldn't get it to work with the mouse and keyboard, so I had to do a VM. And since because of the processor limitations and internet and all that, it's very slow and driver support is very limited. It's hard to record and stuff, so VM's the best way for this type of thing. So if you guys wanted to try this for yourself, you can download, download VirtualBox, and I have a setup video on how to set up um, React OS after you download it from the website. Um, right now I'm running the um, 0.4.10 dev setup, which is not the official, but this is one of the versions that they're still working on, and it's not official, so it's still buggy compared to the official release, which is a lot less buggy. So that's basically that. It, thanks for watching. Um, I'll see you guys later in the next video. So, um, like, comment, subscribe for more. If you want to see more types of these videos come out on my channel, I'll do them because I really do like doing tech videos since I have more time in the summer and I do have a few thing, cool things planned for the summer. So, that that that's that, and pretty much that's it. Um, as I go ahead and shut this down, I will see you guys later in the next video. Bye.